what's up guys my name is king's reaper and we are back for the episode number three now in the last episode we did do some quests we got the bronze watch that we needed we accepted the new quest from mr prepper and now it was time to push forwards for completing the next quest which was picking up a folder on customs in big red and planting it in factory so i quickly picked up my gear picked up my pmc and loaded into the first raid of customs. I spawned near the stashes and started moving across. Nothing interesting happened until this point. An unaware scav just waiting for me to pick him off. So simple, one tap headshot had done it. I quickly moved up but carefully, since I did shoot again. I looted his body, picked up all the goodies he had, took his better backpack. Searched his pockets. And now it was time to move across. So I used the middle land bridge to get across to Big Red. And when arriving, it was already looted, so I only picked up the secure folder that I needed, quickly looked around, checked the, the pockets of the jacket, but it was all looted. So I decided, eh, it's time to go out. I needed to extract. I had the folder, I killed this scav, I would definitely get a status survived. But I didn't know. The scavs started plotting again. Thank God, I went out without damage. Now it was time to defend myself behind the hard cover. But I couldn't see the scab. He was taunting me, but I still couldn't see him. My hands were sweating, my heart was beating. I was so close to the extract and yet so far. So I moved a bit more forward into the bush like a true rat trying to find this cab. And there he was. Easy kill. I wanted to repack my mag just to be sure. But what? There was another one. Jesus. Of course. Yeah, please shoot me. Please. You need to shoot me when I start shooting. And there we go. That was the second scav. It was time to quickly loot them. Check if they had anything good. You know, like labs key card. Two million dollars. Million rubles. But unfortunately they didn't. All they had was this armor that I needed for skier. And this shotgun had quite a few attachments, which were quite good. So after looting their bodies, I decided it was time to move towards the extract. I checked a couple of more stashes, but I found nothing of true value. Upon returning, I knew what time it was. It was time for a factory raid, it was time to go plant that folder exactly where Prepper wants it. So after quickly sorting my inventory, deciding what I'm gonna take and re relieving myself, I decided let's turn in the armor as well. After quick sell of items, I moved into the factory. I spawned in tunnels and I knew exactly which path I'm gonna take. I decided to rush through the building, through the main building where everybody's PvPing, where everybody's shooting, but I didn't want to go on the top floor because I already knew player is gonna be there. 
So I went through the showers. At this point I was avoiding any possible conflict. And as I got through, I thought, this is it. I need to place that folder. So let's do it silently while crouched and put the folder down so we can be done with this quest. Unfortunately, I didn't have any clue that I was cursed and tagged by scavs. Seems like having just handgun doesn't prove to the game that you have gear and so scavs started swarming me immediately. Even though I looted his gear, his friends were on the way. I was empty and hurt very bad, but I didn't place the folder. I was trying to fight off the scavs, I was trying to heal. But they just wouldn't let me be at peace. They had one mission, and one mission alone, to make my life miserable. They just couldn't stand the sights of the folder. They were everywhere, all around me. One was above me. I wanted to heal some more. I was badly wounded. And there was another scav. And that's where another player found me. After the miserable raid, which could have ended so much better if I wasn't cursed and tagged, or tagged and cursed, whatever, the goddamn scavs got me. I decided, let's move again. I got the same spawn, I got everything the same way I got last time, but what I didn't know is that I lost the folder upon death. I couldn't place it anymore. You can only imagine how this raid ended. So therefore, it was time yet for another customs raid, because I had to get that folder again. So I decided to take my PMC, get some gear, and move on. After running through the whole map, not finding any players, not finding any scavs, not any good loot, the only place I wanted to loot more was this folder up in Big Red. Since the place wasn't looted, I decided to quickly check if there are any flash drives, but there weren't any. I did find some food, and I was starting to run low on energy. And the folder was still here, waiting for me. Some loose loot on the ground. And the safe. And of course, there was a valuable item that I couldn't pick. Why? Because I had no backpack. I quickly checked for the keys. But there were only nuts. some loose loot and I decided it was time to extract. Upon successful extraction I had the folder once again, so once again it was time to go to the factory. But before I went to factory I decided again to organize my loot a little bit and I wanted to check if I can upgrade anything in my hideout. I wanted to see what should I upgrade in which order but basically, whatever you can upgrade, you should. 
So I upgraded my security to level 2. And also, the heating system was ready for upgrade, so I upgraded it as well. After checking few more things, I decided, ah, it's time to go again. But I was kind of desperate, didn't know what to take, what gear should I wear, so I went with a budget build again. And there I was, Raid Factory number 3. I had the folder again, I was ready to go, but not long after that, there was somebody walking above me. And he was rushing. And yet again, my mission to deliver the secure folder was again failed. So upon doing that, I was very desperate and I had no more interest in going into the factory immediately. So I loaded in with my scav, again on customs. I quickly checked what I had in my inventory. And since I spawned on this side, I knew there could be a key spawning in this van. A key that's worth quite a lot of money. And luckily, there it was. So after moving a little bit further, checking some loots, stashes, I jumped over and there he was, another scav player or a player trying to get me and of course one tap he had to shoot my chest, I'm bleeding, I'm in pain, the painkiller is gonna help me but not for long. Tagged him once. Bait him. And now push. I got this dude. It was time to loot him quickly because I was bleeding. I was hoping he would have a bandage. He would have something to help me out. And all of a sudden... There was a very good key in his inventory. He should have just gone for extract. But since I was bleeding, I had to quick, quickly think what I'm gonna do. So let's check the bag, the medical bag in the back of the car. Unfortunately, no bandage. So I had to quick think again. I knew there was another meds bag near me. So I decided to quickly go to it. I was praying the Lord to give me one bandage. There was none. So I knew it was either I'm gonna rush the exit or I'm gonna die. So I was hoping I'm gonna survive. My heart was pounding. I wanted to get out with both of those keys. So I rushed across the entire map towards the exit. Everything was bleeding. My eyes, my nose, my arms. I was half dead. I was hoping I'm gonna... My scav is gonna endure a bit longer just for me to extract. And luckily, he did. I managed to get out. So after having this raid done with my scav, I thought, okay, let's get back to quest. It's time. It is time to go again into customs to get that folder and then do the raid on factory once again. So I quickly sorted my inventory and loaded into the raid. I checked few stashes along the way. I checked the tent. And just as I was half across the map, I started hearing some weird music coming across the street. Yet another miserable fail.
it was just a bad luck. So I decided, let's take another gear. Let's take my SKS and load again into customs. So just upon spawning, I started going back when all of a sudden I heard some movement in front of me. And there he was. It was time to reload and wait a couple of seconds or a minute just to see if anybody else is gonna push, if he had a friend with him. But luckily, there were no movement. Nobody was coming. I was alone, so I felt secure. It was time to go and loot his body. And when I saw his dog tag, I felt sorry for the man. This was probably his first or second raid, and he got screwed immediately. So after checking his bag, it was time to move into the big red once again, to pick up the folder that we need. So I moved quickly, in hopes nobody was camping, and this was already looted once again. So I just went, picked up the folder, and decided it was time to move towards the exit. I went double back on me, checked some stashes along the way, when all of a sudden somebody was moving in front of me once again. It was a scav, a dead scav. So I just wanted to check his body quickly, reload my gun. He had a better vest, so it was time to replace my vest with his. I grabbed his shotgun as well, and the mascot that we're gonna need for later. I wanted to check the stash as well. Luckily, nobody was coming, so I felt safe to go on for it. And there it was, relay and the fuse. Relay which we need for upgrades in our hideout. After looting, I decided it was time to move forwards. So I checked the tent and moved to the other stashes. found some more components and good stuff for our hideout. After looting that stash, I decided to go towards the exit. But just before I got there, I found something interesting along the way. Two bodies, not completely looted. And an armor. That's nice. I quickly moved all the items from my vest to the Triton because it was a bit bigger and worth more money.
there was even a bigger backpack there. So after looting these two free lootable bodies, it was time to move towards the exit. I extracted successfully. I had the folder once again and I knew what time it was. And that time ain't breakfast. So it was time to grab some gear and move into the factory once again in hopes that this time I'll be able to plant the folder, so I took some extra gear not to get tagged and cursed. And I spawned directly underneath the building in which I needed to plant the folder. So I moved up quickly, laid low and hoped that nobody is gonna come in the next 30 seconds. The palms were sweating, the heart was beating, I was praying that this is gonna be it, this is gonna be a raid where I plant the folder. And I succeeded. But that was not enough. I had to extract from the raid with a status survived. So I checked the time and I knew that I had to stay 10 more minutes inside or kill someone. Since I had only handgun, I thought, let's be an exit camper. Let's get an easy kill upon exiting to get the survive status. Somebody was here. And my potato aim didn't do the job. Oh God! No, God, please, no! No! I was afraid that this is gonna be a doomed mission once again, that I'll have to go and pick the folder once again, but luckily, the folder was there. The only thing I had to do is go into the raid, survive, and extract. So I bought some ammo, took a handgun, and went into the next factory raid. I knew in front of me was a spawn of a player so potentially, there could be somebody coming down this tunnel. A one-tap headshot had done it. I killed a player. I had to loot his body, see what he has, and get out of there as soon as possible. So upon extracting, I got the status revived, which meant the task was done. That was yet another quest complete. Now it was time to take another quest upon me, and that is to mark all the fuel tanks or the fuel trucks on the customs. So Prepper gave us four markers and I had to mark all four of them. There was another quest from therapist I had to scout the room in dorms it was a small dorms room so after picking up all the markers and the gear that I could I placed the markers into my inventory and it was time to grab some gear and then move again on customs trying to mark everything that I had to so upon spawning, I checked the stash and went immediately for the gas station. One of the trucks was there. I heard some movement in front of me again. And there he was. Luckily, it was a scab. After reloading my gun, I decided to loot the scav's body as fast as possible. He had another body armor that I needed for quest.
I heard no sounds, nobody was here, so I felt safe, it was time to move towards the truck and mark it. I marked the truck, and I waited here. I didn't want to get shot from some weird angle and die, because then I would have to buy the marker all over again, because I'm a cheap bastard, and I don't want to spend my money on that. So I just waited behind the wall, and just as it was about to end, I pushed forwards. So I went across the streets, across the rails, and decided to loot my stash once again. A golden skull just waiting inside that stash. But somebody was here. So after looking for him and waiting to see if he's gonna come out, if he's waiting in those bushes, I started slowly pushing out, searching for that player. But unfortunately, he was no longer here he moved off. So I decided, let's move into the construction and mark the second truck. Second of the two that were positioned centrally. The construction area looked safe. There were no scavs, there were no players. So I planted the marker and decided to hide inside one of the bushes. And little did I know that all of this is not gonna end so good. So I was waiting, hoping that this is gonna pass all good. Nobody was there. And all of a sudden, some things started happening weird things so the player just came around the corner and threw the grenade he was there once again he threw yet another grenade I was hoping he was gonna peek, he was gonna go wide, but unfortunately he did not. So I decided to move back and lay down into the high grass. I was waiting, hoping that he's not gonna find me, that he's gonna go away. getting shot from somewhere. I wasn't sure, was that a player, was that a scab, but I knew it was time to move out. I couldn't find him. I couldn't see him. So I decided, let's wait in this bush and see what happens next. Usually, it's hard to see someone if they're sitting inside the bush. You need to have really good eyes for something like that. And there it was. He did find me. I had to push back for cover. 
he was still shooting after me. He was not pushing. He was waiting on the angle. I wanted to push out of this pocket because I was trapped. I had not I didn't have many options. So somebody started shooting and I ran. I ran back. And now tell me, did you see that? No? Yeah? If you are good, but look at this slow motion again. Are you fucking blind? You can't see me! Of course, I didn't see this player. I was blind. And this is where our raid ended miserably. Luckily for me, I still had some good stuff stashed into my secure container so this was gonna be it for this episode i hope you enjoyed guys and in the next episode we'll continue on our questing path and hope i'll see you again please like share and subscribe when you subscribe hit that notification button so you know when my next video is out